In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Ring Video Doorbell skill so that you can be notified on your different Amazon devices when someone is at your door. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So a few years ago, I set up the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. Since then, I also added the Echo Show 5 to my home and other Amazon devices as well. One of the main issues I had with the Ring Video Doorbell is if I ring the doorbell, I didn't get notified on my smart devices in my home. Since then, a lot has changed and now there is an update to the Ring skill so that if somebody rings your video doorbell, you are now notified with a voice or a chime on your Amazon devices. So to get this set up, we're first going to head into the Amazon application. And then we're going to select the menu and then select skills and games. And then we're gonna search for ring. So here it found the ring skill. Now, if you already have the ring skill enabled, I would recommend that you disable it. I was having issues, I couldn't get this to work until I disabled it and came back in here and enabled it again. So we're going to enable to use. And here we're going to log in to our ring account. And then we are going to authorize the application. And now it has been successfully linked. So the next step is you need to discover to make sure that it finds your doorbell. So once you have authenticated your Ring account in the Ring skill, you're gonna head back here to the home page and go to the Devices tab. Now we're gonna scroll over and find Cameras. And then down here we have Front Door. So this is the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. Under here we have the option to adjust announcement devices. So this is what devices are actually going to get that announcement. So I can come in here, right now I just have the Echo Show 5 is selected, but if I wanted to add my Dot 3 or I wanted to add the Fire TV Cube, I could do that. Now real quick, I do wanna mention that all the devices that I have here on my account are compatible with these announcements and all the show devices are compatible with the Live View. I also wanna mention that if you have any Google Home or Google Smart Displays, they are not compatible to receive or to be able to show the Ring Video Doorbell camera feeds. If you're looking to do that with your Google Smart Displays, I would recommend getting the Nest Hello Video Doorbell. So here under the Fire TV Cube, it's saying it's only going to give an announcement but under the show five, it's going to give an announcement and a live view. So um, if you want the live view, you do need to have a show device. So here the Echo Show and the show five are available for those. All the other devices are for announcements. The cool thing about the live view is you can see who is at the door without having to go there and you can even talk to them without having to pull up the application or pull up the camera on the show devices. So we'll show you how to use that in just a minute. So for this demo, I'm just going to have the show five notify us. And then if we go back, you do have the option to turn on motion announcement. So if you wanted to be notified when somebody walks by, you could turn that on. And then down here, you have the option for the doorbell sound. So here, if I change these, it's going to play that sound on our device. and clock chimes. And then you have a bunch of seasonal sounds down here as well. So we're just going to keep the default for right now. So now that we have our devices set up and we have chosen our doorbell sound, we can now test this out. Someone is at the front door. So now it's giving us a picture of the live view. And if we want to talk to who's at the door, all we need to do is tap the screen and we can tap the mic. What do you want? What do you want? You want to play? Damn, we're in quarantine, man. Okay, see you later. Okay, see you later. And so as long as you have the mic on, it's gonna continually show the front door. Over here, you have the option to make it go full screen, so it just gives you a little more zoomed in view. And then we're gonna turn off the mic. They can no longer hear us. And we can select back for it to go away. Someone is at the front door. 
If you receive a doorbell notification, but you don't touch the screen and use the microphone, it will just go away after a few seconds. And this is what your doorbell notification will sound like on your Amazon speaker. Someone is at the front door. And here is my Fire TV Cube. Someone is at the front door. Now with all of these devices, whether it's a speaker or a show device, you actually can use voice commands to answer and essentially drop in on the video doorbell. So you can use the answer the door command or the talk to the front door command. Answer the front door. Okay. What's the weather like out there? Beautiful. That's good to hear. Hang up. Answer the front door. Okay. And with that command, you can see that the mic is already on. No need to touch the screen. Hide the front door. And when you're ready to end the conversation, you can then just use the hide the front door, go home, or stop commands. So again, only the Echo Show devices will be able to give you that live view when the doorbell is pressed. If you want to pull up the camera at any time, you just need to ask to show me the front door. And so that is how you can use your Amazon devices with your Ring Video Doorbell to receive doorbell press notifications. And at any time, if you wanna go back and adjust what devices are getting those notifications, just head back in to the Amazon application, go to the doorbell, and then turn on if you want the speakers or the displays to be able to show that. If you have any further questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see a full video about the Ring Video Doorbell Pro, you can check that out up here, or you can learn more about the Echo Show 5 down here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.